Falls, Little Karate's V-Man 1313, and uh, welcome to today's ride. I'm trying to find these bridges, but uh, that's number two for today. All right, what's up, buddy? We are now uh, on a dirt road, fully fed, nice and stuffed. I found those two little bridges. I wasn't looking for those things. We're out on uh, Lake Russell Wildlife Management Area here. There's a lake down here on the left. You could go drive up to the top of it and walk down a little bit and get to the lake, but no, I don't think you can. be a cool place to camp right there. I didn't put the four wheel drive on. Look, I gotta show y'all how to <laughs> how I have that set up. Oh yeah. Lights right down there. Check out today review I bought it for the Wiz she's been doing some uh, I don't know if it's vlogging but videos for her kids for school mainly about the farm and stuff and so need to change the need to change the box on it, it it's basically a knockoff GoPro it's the dragon $40, not even $40 uh, GoPro knockoff, Chinese knockoff. But it had such great reviews. It says 4K. I'm not sure about that. But I tried out in a couple scenarios today, sitting still for a while, and then we'll put it up here doing what we're doing now and see how it looks. I haven't messed with the settings, but. Um... This is the Dragon Touch and the DJ Osmo Action. Dragon Touch on the left, Osmo Action on the right. Yeah, this is where I would want to come camp out. Nice in here. Really nice in here. Nice little, somebody cut out little steps to get down there and play in the water. Be nice to come in here and clean up the trash. That sound would be nice to listen to and fall asleep to. 
Yeah, this would be nice. So the cool thing about that camera, even if, it's, if, it, if it doesn't have a good motion stabilizer or whatever, So the cool thing about that camera, even if, it's, if, it, if it doesn't have a good motion stabilizer or whatever, the, uh, an advantage of it would be if it was good sitting still and took good video you know, on a tripod, I could leave it on a tripod and I wouldn't have to switch cameras from one to the other and it'd be nice to have one camera on a tripod that stays on the tripod and when I go out, I can just set it. Put it there and then keep on going and then one camera that I can use as my handheld which is probably the Osmo the DJI that thing has a great stabilizer I really like it and then uh, have the camera like I have right now that I'm talking to which is the Garmin that does a really good job here where it's at right now and so yeah um, having multiple cameras makes a big difference as far as, um, you know, ease. Yeah, you can easily use one camera and just move it from mount to mount and thing to thing. What I found though is that on the, on the tripod, you kind of have to have that little bolt, that little nut bolt looking thing. Whereas on, you know, most of my other, and the handheld has the same. But then, if I'm mounting it up on the car, I have that quick release mount, which is what I need to buy. I need to buy a few of those. I've broken a couple of them. I need to buy a few of those. So yeah, um, it'd be nice to have a, a a nice little set of cameras if it was up to me I'd have you know three of the DJI's it does a really good job my only complaint with the DJI has been um, it doesn't do Bluetooth what in tarnations right I've got to look at it. There's no way it does not do Bluetooth. But you have to buy a separate little thing for it to do Bluetooth. So I can't use it on my motorcycle. I can't put it on my helmet and talk through my Senna earphone or microphone. Um, so yeah, that's pretty lousy, period, bottom line. But video-wise, it takes some amazing, wonderful videos.